in this lesson, we'll learn about the different areas around the MARI interface. Okay, so I have here the Lesson 3 begin file open from your project files. If you want to browse to the MARI files folder using this open archive button on your projects tab and select that file, you should be able to load that up here as a project inside your projects tab. So uh, with that said, let's take a quick tour around MARI's interface here because there's a lot going on. So um, thinking about kind of this interface, there's really only maybe four different areas you need to be concerned with here. Now looking up here at the top we have our menu bar. Now the menu bar consists of multiple toolbars that are all kind of stacked together here. Now you can kind of find the separations between the toolbars by looking for these little double perforated vertical lines. Now this area right in the center of our interface is referred to as the canvas. Uh, fittingly here inside of Mari the canvas actually has some tabs up here at the top based on what you're actually viewing. So I've got my orthographic view selected right now. If we wanted to view a perspective camera, we could come over here to the perspective tab and kind of take a look at that camera there. Uh, you can see here we can actually come over to the UV tab and look at sort of the flat unwrapped version of our textures. And we can also come over and look at sort of a split view between the orthographic and the UV view. And there's actually a little divider here in the center. Uh, if you notice that, you can actually sort of uh, kind of proportionately position these, this divided view here. So um, now we know what the projects tab is and there's one other tab here and it just simply connects you to the Mari forums so you can communicate with other Mari users. So um, well, with that said, let me just jump back to my orthographic tab here and let's go ahead and kind of look over here on the right and we learned about uh, palettes a little bit in the previous lesson. We're going to spend some more time on that in this lesson. Now lastly, the fourth area you should be concerned with is kind of this little bar right down here at the bottom of the interface. This bar is referred to as the status bar and it actually contains some information about the project that we're working on. You can see the amount of disk cache usage is listed there as well as a UDIM field which if I come in here and actually select one of the UV patches for the project, you can see that it's actually going to display the UDIM number just like so. So uh, there's actually some icons to the right of that. Um, some of these are really some things we're going to talk about later in this course, but you can see things like color management, um, basically projecting on the front of our geometry, a couple of different masking options that we'll learn about later on, and lastly we have a button here that we can actually save our project. So uh, same as this button right up here. Now, if we come over here and take a look at the menu bar, again, I mentioned there's several different toolbars sort of working together to create this here. This first one right here in the top left-hand corner is our project toolbar. We've already learned about several of these buttons in the previous lesson, uh, but things like create project, save project, close project, and there's also an undo and a redo button here. Now, to the right of that, you're going to find your tool properties bar, and um, you can see that all the properties or settings on this tool properties bar are related to the selection tool that I currently have selected. If we came in here and selected a different tool, you'll notice that those tool properties actually change based on the tool we have selected. To the right of that is our PTEX toolbar, which uh, we're not actually going to be learning anything about PTEX in this course, but um, we'll come down here and the next row what you'll find is your canvas toolbar. So uh, this canvas toolbar right here affects things on the canvas. For example, uh, if we came in and click this first button, you'll see that it turns on a wireframe display for our model. Uh, we can turn that back off. And we can also come over here with these buttons here and actually change the camera we're looking at with these tabs. So uh, if we wanted to look at the UV view on this tab, we could do that. We could come over and switch that to the perspective camera or we can come over and switch that back to the orthographic view. So um, you'll also notice here when we switch to something like the perspective camera, we have settings for things like field of view to the right of that in this toolbar. So um, to the right of that, we're going to have our selection toolbar. Now this relates to the way we select objects, patches, or faces here inside of Mari. We'll learn about this in a later lesson. But uh, to the right of that, we have our lighting toolbar. And you can see here right now we're viewing this 
particular model with full lighting. We've got a full range of highlights and shadows. We can come over here and look at basic lighting for this particular project, or we could even come in and just look at the flat shaded view here, or the flat lit view. So um, that is the lighting toolbar. To the right of that, you're going to find your painting toolbar, and this actually only has one button in it right now, and that's to bake the paint in our in our paint buffer. We're going to learn about that and sort of kind of the process of painting in Mari in upcoming lessons. So um, to the right of that is our mirroring toolbar. And this relates to basically symmetrical painting inside of Mari. We can uh, basically mirror our painting um, from right to left, from top to bottom, or in four quadrants. So uh, we'll, we actually will be doing a lesson on that uh, later on in this course. Uh, to the right of that, you see our vector painting toolbar. Below, on this last row, we have our navigation toolbar. And this basically does things like coming in and locking um, so we can only orbit in the X or only orbit in the Y. We can come in and we can choose our snapping um, and how, how we snap. Uh, we can enable or disable rolling. We can... Uh, enable or disable zooming, things of that nature. So, uh, and lastly, to the right of that, you're going to find your default shaders toolbar. And this is going to make more sense once we kind of understand how shaders work inside of Mari. Basically, this controls what we're actually looking at on our canvas, whether it is a, a, an entire shader or maybe it's just a specific layer or channel. So, uh, now, to the very left of the interface over here, you're going to find the Tools toolbar. Um, this is where all of the primary tools are stored here inside of Mari. Now, if we click on this little double black arrow at the very bottom there, that indicates that there's more to this toolbar that we just don't see right now. So if we click on that, you'll see here we actually have a foreground and a background color, similar to many other painting applications. We can switch between them here, or we can reset them back to the default color scheme. So um, just keep an eye out for these little bl double black arrows. There's actually one right over here as well. Um, you can see there are several different uh, tools or basically settings that are hidden inside the PTEX toolbar that we just can't see right now. All right, great. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and shift our attention over to palettes. And if your palettes don't look just like mine do right now, don't worry about that. The configuration of your palettes is completely customizable here inside of Mari. We're going to actually work with that here in the next lesson. But uh, I want to show you that not only can we get to our palettes through the view drop down and look for palettes here, uh, we can actually come in here and see that basically we have a representation in this menu here of every palette we can open here inside of Mari. Now, I don't have every palette open right now. Uh, you can see the ones that are open have that little orange icon next to them here. So uh, the ones that are not open have a gray icon. So if we were to say come in and grab our objects palette, you can see it opens up over here on the left hand side. Uh, let me just go ahead and close that out. Now, over here on the right, we have several palettes that have been uh, docked together, grouped together. Now, you can see here down at the bottom, we have our brush editor, we have our shaders palette, channels, painting, projection, and shelf. Now, inside these palettes, you're going to notice there are actually several tabs kind of nested inside them. Looking at the shelf palette here, up here at the top, we actually have several tabs, or they're actually referred to as shelves. So, we have our menu shelf personal, basic brushes, hard surface brushes, organic, we have Brad's brushes, and we have our project here. So uh, now you can see that these particular shelves contain more than just brushes. But uh, again, we're going to be learning all about that in an upcoming lesson. So uh, you'll notice that these shelves actually appear in several different places. If we come over to our brush editor and take a look at these tabs over to the left, you'll see we have our shelves here as well. And they should mimic the setup on our shelves palette. So uh, we also have them here inside our pr uh, presets tab. So uh, we have our shelves again, and they live inside of palettes as well as tabs live inside of palettes. So uh, now we've looked at how to get to our palettes through the view menu, but uh, let me show you another really quick and easy way to access them. 
Now you can actually come up here and right click anywhere on your menu bar or even over here on the, uh, the tools toolbar and you're going to get this menu that pops up right here. It looks just like the one under the view and palettes um, only it actually has a listing. Let me just kind of right click a little higher up. Uh, actually has a listing down at the bottom for all of the different toolbars that I currently have open um, and you can actually come in and turn them off from this menu as well. So uh, in this lesson we've taken a quick tour around the Mari interface. 